in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with meteorologist Sabian Cologne. Good evening and happy Veterans Day. Here at a live look outside at our Syntex Roof System Sky Checker. We're out here in Woodway, we had a gloomy and cloudy day outside. We kept our temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, but right now we're sitting at 60 degrees right now. We have cloudy skies. We have the northeast wind at 5 miles an hour. We have our dew points as well in 52 degrees, making the humidity 75 degrees. And so going to our temperatures right now, we can see a similar trend here. Everybody's sitting in the mid to upper 60 or 50s for the general area, 60 degrees in Waco and Temple as well. A little bit the same temperature in Cause Station as you go into the other day. Gatesful as 57 degrees. Going to our wind speeds right now, we didn't really have much winds to go around for the day. We're barely brisk winds outside. We have zero degrees in Gatesville. It just mean there's a little breeze, nothing to be really worried about. Five miles per hour in Waco and in Temple as well. We had a little bit more in College Station. So everybody's around the four to eight miles per hour winds out of the northeast. So going to our satellite loop right now, we can see we have these clouds. They're staying off to high clouds are staying off to the uh, south and eastern part of the state. We do see our uh, cloud cover over here in Waco. That's those high clouds that were throughout the day making it cloudy and gloomy outside. So going to our exclusive Viper radar again, very quiet outside, really nothing to be worried about precipitation wise, just some high clouds that we have throughout the day. So going to our future guys right now, we're going to start at 12 o'clock a.m. on Sunday. And then as you go into the overnight hours into the morning on Sunday, we can see we have cloud cover and these these clouds, they kind of bring these precipitation down from the south. It kind of creeps into our area as we go into the afternoon, into the evening. Look at it. We have the chance of those showers coming into the overnight, into Sunday and into Monday. That's where we really get those chance of showers. It's more of an early morning as you go into Monday, right? 7 a.m. We can see and most of it's a little bit more down on the Brazos Valley area. Then as you go into the afternoon and into the evening hours, of Monday, we can see them kind of sparsely shower throughout the area as we go into the next following day. So tomorrow is Sunday, and if you're going out to church, here's your day planner. We're looking pretty cloudy for the majority of the day. We're starting off a little bit cooler at 53 degrees. And as you go throughout the day, we warm up slightly. We get a little bit break in clouds. You might see some sun potentially, but it's looking like it's overclass, overcast and cloudy for the majority of the day of our Sunday. So it's going to be a, a sunny, or sorry, a cloudy night for your Sunday. So heading to you tonight, we can see temperatures 52 degrees. I'm going to say winds of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for tomorrow, I'm going to say 50, uh, 62 degrees, cloudy skies. I'm going to go 30 percent chance of showers and that's going to be in the morning part of our day. We're going to have morning, early morning, those showers are really going to go through. And it's more like it's showers, not really anything, any thunderstorms, nothing severe to be really worried about. So going to our long range 10 day forecast, we can see we have tomorrow 58 degrees and 62 for Sunday and Monday. Then as you get into the following next part of the week, we can see as you get later into the weekend, we can see the temperatures rise up slightly to get to the next following weekend. We have the break in clouds. We can see a break in clouds on Wednesday through Thursday and Friday. Again, we have those clouds kind of dissipating and really having those temperatures bump up to around the normal time. No, sorry, the normal temperature for this time of the year. Then as you get to the weekend, we can see those temperatures and those uh, dew point chances and those uh, precipitation chances increase to 50% on that Sunday and into the next following possibly Monday into the morning. Then as you go into the next following week, we have temperatures in the upper 60s and the overnight lows into the mid 50s and low 50s for the general, even a 42 on that next Monday. Then as you go into uh, Bryan College Station, we do have temperatures sitting around the same general area for this time of the year. We have them going up for tomorrow, 62 degrees. And as you get into the Monday, look at 80% possible chance. That's all those showers that we saw on that future cast. Then as you go into the Tuesday and later part of the week, we can see the temperatures bump up and those clouds go away and those temperatures go up as well. We have them going into the next following weekend. We can get those temperatures up into the mid 70s and even next following week, we get them down into the upper 70s. And we have have more details and we have the overnight lows into the upper 50s, sorry, mid 50s and upper 50s for the general area. We can see we have these seasonal temperatures, they're coming back around, so we have more temperatures like that. We're going to keeping those eye on those details following that. That's your latest PJ back to you.